Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about road trips. Now guys, I get emails from time to time where people are asking me, hey Chris, I'm ready to take my bug cross country this summer. I want to do the show circuit and go from state to state and pop off at different shows, see the sights. And uh, I want to take my bug. What do I do to prepare my car? Well, I got a list of things I think you need to look into before you go on this road trip and what you also need to take with you in order to be safe. Uh, so uh, one thing off the bat is I would definitely uh, say you take picking a show car. Um, you got to be careful with show cars. I mean, if you're going to be traveling from state to state and you want this car to look pristine, uh, you know, you got to understand you're going to get rock chips. You're going to have things that are going to come up and hit the car. So uh, what a lot of guys do now is they put that clear bra or the, the, the gel wrap on the front of their car to kind of protect the paint. So if there's any rock chips or whatnot. Um, also, um, I would definitely go with something that has a beefier motor to it, at least a 1500, maybe a 1300 that's been uh, upgraded to a 1600. So... Uh, but that's just to get started, and you want something that's structurally sound. We don't want to be driving something that's rotted and it's ready to fall apart. You got to get a complete mechanical inspection on your car before you're ready to go. And I would even check the motor for end play, check the compression, and make sure you've even run this motor for a good length of time before even venturing off to the country. So, um, but uh, that's a quick list right there, and I'm going to show you other other things you need to bring along with you uh, in order to have a safe and uh, hopefully a trouble-free ride. But um, Let's go check it out. All right, so I have my list of goodies on the table here. I kind of prepared for this video. And one of the things we're going to want to talk about right off the bat is what I have here on this table. And I think you're going to want to take this with you, especially if you're doing a long journey through the country. I mean, I know people that start on the East Coast or the West Coast, and they, they go back and forth. And um, when you're going with a Beetle these days, I mean, you, you're just going to need to be prepared. Uh, again, these are older cars. These are not brand new cars. So things are going to happen. And we, of course, we are at the mercy of a lot of aftermarket parts today. So a lot of those parts do not last as long as the German counterpart. So let's get ready right off the bat here. Here's some tools. First, I would say definitely get a jumper box or a set of good battery cables, uh, you know. If you're still running a six volt system in your bug, a lot of times those batteries will die pretty quickly. Uh, so if you do need a jump or God forbid you get stuck and the battery does die, you have a jumper box like you have here. Uh, definitely would want to get a good strainer, oil strainer set, uh, some spark plugs, bring a fuel pump with you because we know the gas today can be uh, mixed signals and mixed uh, performance with gas today with the ethanol and stuff and especially if you've been having uh, your car sitting for a long period of time, the ethanol does get pretty nasty in your system. Fire extinguisher, yes, yes, yes. The last thing we want is a fire on the road with our beetle and then you're stranded. Uh, I would definitely bring a spare distributor. If you don't have a spare distributor, at least get uh, a good set of points, uh, a cap, a rotor, a condenser. Get an extra belt, of course, or two. Uh, an extra coil, I would definitely go with. You have it ready to go. Uh, spark plug wires, uh, and then you're going to want some 3H uh, drive uh, ratchet with an extension. And here's just a whole bunch of metrics that I have here. I mean, you don't need this whole piece here, but the most important, of course, are the 10s, the 11, 12, 13, 14, 17s, 19s. Uh, those are some of the uh, important metric sockets you should really uh, bring with you. Um, a flashlight, uh, of course, this is a little. Uh, LED light, but you can get uh, a better one uh, on the market, of course. A uh, set of good screwdrivers, Phillips and Flathead. Uh, you can't go wrong with those. Uh, definitely have those on hand. And where do you get to carry all this in? You get a box just like this, uh, whether from Lowe's or Home Depot or you know any department store that's a hardware store, anything like that. And um, you know you you could pack a lot in here. What I did get. Also, what you can pack in a box like this, a nice tray here, is one of these bottleneck jacks that you can get from uh, AutoZone, Napa Auto Parts. This is a Duralast uh, bottleneck jack. It's not expensive at all, but and this is perfect to kind of pack into the car. And you don't really need much to lift the bug off the ground, so this is actually a pretty good little jack. And, uh, you know, it's a good set of rags, some other tools in here. I mean, you could put all the tools, like I mentioned, most of them could at least go in here. And you could put this box probably behind the back seat of the Beetle. So um, definitely you're gonna wanna pack something like that in there. First aid kit you could also want, so if you have that off to the side, I would definitely uh, I'll bring a first aid, first aid kit. 
and uh, like I have here too, I would bring some oil. Uh, depending on how many miles you're gonna be doing, uh, definitely bring some oil with you. I mean, I know you can stop at a gas station today or any other um, local convenience stores for that matter, and they do carry oil, but um, God forbid you're stranded on the side of the road and you need to put oil in the car. Um, it's good to at least have something like this handy. Okay, so there's just a few things for you that I showed on the table over there that you, I think you must have when it comes to going on a cross-country trip. I mean, there's probably a few other things that I maybe left out. Any, anybody that wants to chime in, leave a comment below the video. You're more than welcome to. We're all ears here. Uh, we just want a safe and friendly trip, and that's hopefully trouble-free. Um, now, what you see here is I got, I got a 56 oval here that we just wrapped up, a build a bug project, and then I got a 51 uh, split window in the back. I mean, these are, these are show cars. Um, and again, if, if you're planning on going with one of these cars cross country, I mean, it would scare me a little bit. Sometimes it scares me just going around town with these cars. I don't want the paint to get chipped up or nicked or, um, like I said, they, they sell like uh, the, the clear bras you can put on these cars to kind of protect the car on the long journey. Um, if uh, if you if you must take this kind of a car, uh, and, and if you are going to be showing these cars, you got to have to bring cleaning agents with you, and you got to have to wax and polish and you know uh, uh, wash the car every now and then if you're taking it to a show. But if you're just planning on going uh, just cross country to see sights and want to be in a bug, that sort of thing, then I would go with something probably in the late 60s, you know, into the 70s, even a Super Beetle. Um, they they probably be a little more enjoyable to drive. Uh, than the older vintage cars. I mean, these are 25 and 36 horsepower, so they are a little slow. Uh, I mean, you can beef them up, of course, and put bigger motors in them, but uh, t I guess as far as um, the ride is concerned, I mean, you want to be comfortable along this ride. So, you know, something like a 68 Beetle or a 67, you know, a 73 Super Beetle, something like that, those would be really cool. Um, but again, before you go on this trip, the car's got to be structurally sound, mechanically sound. You got to go through full inspection on this thing, get brand new tires brand new shocks you know go through the car electrically take the car on a two-hour trip somewhere and see how the engine performs and make sure it doesn't overheat and you don't have any hiccups along the way you want this to be trouble free so that car should be uh, a killer before it steps out of that garage and uh, again make sure you check the compression in these motors check the end play I got videos on all that stuff for you to check out uh, before you go on your journey so so guys in the end be prepared be safe go wisely Email me, Chris, ClassicVWBugs.com, or visit my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Leave your comments, suggestions. Let's do it. Enjoy your trip. Be safe. Um.